Good afternoon. Welcome to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I am Prophetess Misty Goodwin. We're under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. We welcome you today. We ask that you turn on your notifications, subscribe to our channel, and share this prayer with someone for you don't know who has need of Jesus. Listen, I was in prayer, um, just praying for the church on um, Saturday evening at at the church and uh, something dropped in my spirit it's been in my spirit for quite a while and um we're talking about the stillness of god but i heard the lord say um become a gated community the bible says guard your heart for out of it are the issues of life and i know um this is one of those things that's hard because a lot of the trauma um, that comes in this season is because most people don't know how to guard their heart. When the Bible says that in the last days, the love of many will wax cold, people will find the need to do anything and everything to you because they do not care. And it is really up to you put, to put a become a gated community. You really have to guard your heart. Now, there's a lot to this, so I'm just going to pray it through because it's not really, uh, I just need to pray it through because it's so much God has downloaded. But I'll say this, um, guarding your heart isn't, doesn't always have to do with you guarding your heart from people. Guarding your heart means that you need to guard and protect your heart. You're in a relationship with your heart, and the Bible says the heart can be deceitful, but when your head is in the game, it's a different game changer. What do you mean, co-pastor? Your heart and your head communicate with one another. When you make decisions from the heart and not use your head, this is doors for the adversary. These are entryways from the enemy to come in to kill, to steal and destroy. And the reason why the enemy's after your heart is because he's after your oil. The oil, the heart is where your oil resides. It's where the anointing resides. If you can get out of, walk out of love and walk in resentment, bitterness, and all those things, you have no power because faith working through love. Everything about God is love. The Bible says, um, love, without love, you can do anything. Without love, you can do nothing. And that means without God, you can do nothing. And God is saying, I won't do it with you if you're not walking in love. So, you have to really, in this hour, become a gated community. Hear me by the Holy Ghost. You need to learn to guard your heart. For the enemy is using people, places, and things to come against the anointing on your life. Let's pray. Spirit of the living God. We thank you for the wisdom and knowledge and the understanding of this time and this season, God, as you're leading us and guiding us through these dark days. As the days grow colder and darker, Father, let the light continue to shine in us, through us, and to us. And God, as you're teaching us to guard our gates for this time and this season and this hour of so much evil, so much wicked. Father, let us not walk in a state and a condition that we're in bondage where we fear allowing people in, but let us use wisdom and guidance and direction. Give us discernment to make wise decisions and choose those around us wisely, God, as you're leading us and guiding us in the way we need to go. Father, we will follow you. Let our heart follow you, Father. Let our heart be led by you, Father. Let our heart not deceive us because our head is in the game. Lord, I thank you that our head and our heart is communicating with one another, one another by way of the spirit. And the spirit man has power over the flesh. The flesh has no authority over us. And so we take authority over the flesh. Uh, realm of our life. We walk in the spirit that we will not satisfy the lust of the flesh. We're led by the spirit. We have the fruit of the spirit and you've given us power and dominion. And we thank you, Father, for breaking chains and destroying yokes and annihilating lies and leading us and guiding us to a place of victory in Christ Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for doing uh, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or think. Father, lead and guide our heart in the way it needs to go. In the name of Jesus, God, 
And we leave no room for the devil. We leave no windows from the devil. We leave no works of the enemy to have power and dominion over us, God, as you're taking us on a journey to lead us into all truth. The truth will continue to set us free in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for breaking chains, destroying yokes, annihilating lies, and keeping us in perfect peace as we keep our eyes stayed upon you. Father, show us how to have a better relationship with our heart. Show us how to protect our heart. Show us how to cleave to you, Father. That is one sound, one rhythm, one heartbeat. Let our heart be for you. Let it be able to flow in the love of Christ, not being overtaken by the world, not being overtaken by opinions of man, not being overtaken by the pain of, of, the, of yesterday, God, but our heart belongs to you. You said our heart. Our heart is in the hands of you, Father, and you're turning it the way it needs to go. And let us not have a stony heart. Let there be the stillness of you, Father, found in our hearts. Let us walk in new dispensations of power and authority and dominion and glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, for doing a new thing in us, through us, to us. Thank you, Father, for giving our heart peace Lord, those who have overworked hearts, they have been overwhelmed by things that's going on around us. Father, break every chain. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for doing a new thing in the now moment. Glory to God. Our heart belongs to you. We will not be deceived by the works of the enemy. We will not be overwhelmed by the things that the enemy wants to use to contaminate our heart. Lord, our oil is free to flow because we have heat on our heart through you, through your presence, through your power, through your authority, through the fire of the Holy Ghost that's burning off any residue, burning off any structure, burning off any any anything that's not of you. And I'm going to tell you all something God told me. He says, when someone puts their dirty hands on your heart, God will wash it off through the blood of Jesus. He's going to wash off their dirty handprints, and you're going to be free to forgive, free to release the offense, free to walk out of bondage, free to not be rejected, free to not be overtaken, free to overcome the persecution, free in the name of Jesus, free in your heart, free in your mind, free in your soul. In the name of Jesus, let there be sound and liberation today. That the power of God continues to move, continues to flow, continues to demonstrate your power is resting, is ruling and abiding in us, through us and to us. And God, let there be nothing that will hinder, to distract, to deter what it is you have done, what it is you are doing, what it is you're getting ready to do. Move by your spirit in our hearts. Glory to God in every doorway to our heart, our mind, and soul belong to you. Free to flow, free to flourish, free to walk in peace, free to forget. And Lord, you heal the brokenhearted. You bind up the wounds. And I pray for anyone who has heart conditions that's not of you, the swelling of the heart. We call healing now. Hallelujah. The irregular heartbeat, heartbeat we call healing now. In the name of Jesus, swell, swelling in the heart, we call healing now fattiness of the heart we call healing now the arteries are free to flow and flourish in the heart in the name of Jesus, oxygen and levels of blood is flowing and flourishing in the heart and anyone that's dealing with issues in the heart um, through medical doctors and things uh, bad reports we call for every attack over your heart to return to sin in the name of jesus that there is freedom in your heart free to be healed whole and well the power and authority of jesus is resting and ruling and abiding in your heart and your your heart is free to flow, to pump blood, to stay on rhythm with the heartbeat of God, the way God created your heart to function. And I decree and declare you're open to receive love again. We tear down the wall. You will not build a wall to protect yourself from yourself because a wall hinders you from receiving what God wants to do. But we put a gate, a guard at the gate, the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the teacher, the wisdom of God is at the gate, ready 
to give the right people access and to deny the wrong people access. There is the power, the authority and dominion of God resting in your heart. And your heart is free to love again, free to worship, free to serve, free to honor God, free to begin begin to give him glory. Your heart is moving to the rhythm and the heartbeat of God. And the gates of hell cannot, will not, shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, for the healing of the heart. Thank you, God. There's demonstration of your power. Thank you, Lord. You're doing a new thing now. Thank you, Lord. You're great and mighty in the earth. Thank you, Lord. We trust and rely on you to do what only you can do in the matters of the heart. We rest in knowing that you are God and you are God alone. And you shall do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power working in us. So we give you glory for all 